Assalamualaikum, hello boys and girls. Do you still remember what we learned in previous lesson? Hmm. If you can't remember, you can refer to my previous video. Okay. In previous lesson, we learned about how to observe. And what are the five senses that we use to gather information about objects and phenomena? Hmm, so do you still remember? So everyone, today we're going to learn the same topic which is scientific skills but in a different subtopic which is classifying. You can refer to your textbook, page 5 until page 7. Alright guys, so what is classify? Classify is to identify the similarities and differences of object. Then, we separate and group the objects. Okay guys, now let's observe the characteristics of the animals. Now, look at the animals in this picture. We have duck, tiger, penguin, tapir, eagles, and good. Can you classify these animals into two groups based on their characteristics? Now, look at the picture. The characteristic that can be observed on the animals, for example, a dog has wings and two legs. A tiger does not have wings, but has four legs. A penguin has wings and two legs. A tapir does not have wings, but has four legs. A penguin has wings and two legs. A goat does not have wings but has four legs. How can we classify these animals? We can classify these animals by stating their similar and different characteristics. A similar characteristic between a dog, an eagle and a penguin is that they are animals with wings. A goat, a tapir and a tiger are different from a duck, a penguin and an eagle because they are animals without wings. These animals can be classified as animals with wings and without wings. Now look at the tables. So these are the features for the animals with wings, which is duck, penguin and eagle and the animals without wings, which is Good, tapir, and tiger. Now, look at this picture. Can you classify the animals using other characteristics? Yes, you are correct. The animals that can lay eggs and give birth. Now guys, 
What are the animals that can lay eggs from the picture? Can you give me the answer? Good job guys! So these are the animals that can lay eggs which are tortoise, snails and fish Now what are the animals that can give birth? Yes these are the animals that can give birth Rabbit, horse and cat Do you know that will can give birth to? Now, I want you to answer the question Look at the pictures and classify the objects. We have straw, paper clip, leaf, key, needle, matches, iron nail, and also sponge. Okay. I already asked you to draw this table in your exercise book. You can classify the object into two which are attract to magnet and not attract to magnet. Now, can you do it? Let's check the answer. Are you ready? So these are the answer. The object that can attract a magnet are pepper clip, key, iron nail, and needle. And the object that cannot attract to magnet are matches, sponge, leaf, and straw. Alright guys, thank you for joining my class. See you next class. Bye.